And welcome back, everyone, to Style Club Radio with Josh DeMarco, Steve Les Sanchez, and Michelle Miller. Michelle? All right, everyone. Don't forget to follow us on social media. You can find us at Style Club Radio on Instagram, Facebook, and watch full episodes of the show on YouTube. Yes, guys, we are back with our guests. We're not going to introduce them right yet because first we're going to talk about... I'm just joking. Here they are. <laughs> so, guys, we have a, we have a very, um, a really cool couple with us tonight that are <clears throat> awesome. They live in Jersey, but we're going to say they're Philadelphians. We are. Yeah, they're Philadelphians. They're Philadelphians. East Philadelphia. Yes. East Philly. Um, in the house, guys, we, tonight we have Patrick Haney, Pat Haney, mm-hmm. and his wife, Kelly Haney. And they are, uh, they have an amazing tattoo shop called Forever Valentine. And they also have a, uh, I don't even want to talk about what they have. They have a lot of stuff going on, but like Kelly has her own thing, and and they are they are really doing big things in Philadelphia. They really are. And um, Pat has an amazing tattoo shop that, as a stylist in the behind the chair every day, I, I think ninety five percent of my clients have probably been tattooed by you or somebody that that works with you. I hope so. Yep. I like to hear that. And <laughs> and, I, and I look at their work, and it's very good. So I approve. You guys are doing nice, now. You guys nice. are doing awesome yeah. work. And Kelly's also just killing it in the brow game and the makeup game and everything else. Yeah, um, Michelle amazing. says she has an army of amazing people. So I yes. need to hear more about these two and what they're doing. So excited. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to hear what you guys are going to tell us today. All right. You start, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> All you. So uh, we open uh, Forever Valentine in, what, January 2017? Mm-hmm. Um, I'd worked in Philly for tattooing for 15 years, and it was time to open our own shop. So Kelly was doing the microblading thing and it just kind of made sense at this point in the game to be able to do it together and do it in a studio and be able to, I don't know, bring it to Philadelphia. Yeah. So I outgrew it though, because permanent cosmetics is huge right now. So we moved on, Pat stayed and you have Dave Fox, Chris Klein, a lot of guest artists. He has guest artists come in every month. Um, who else? Black Casket. Yeah, Tyler. we bring people in from all over all the country. Over, yeah. yeah, to come in and tattoo. And um, you're you're saying you moved on? You moved right down the hall. We I moved down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> I moved down the hall. So we're in we the. Two we're in, we're in, she's like that. We're basically over. taking over the Bach Building. If you don't know what it is, it's people know what Bach Bar is. It's the rooftop hangout of the summertime. But there's also like over a hundred businesses in the Bach building. And we have a tattoo studio, a permanent cosmetic studio, and I have a training facility there too now. So, so it's we, all artists. We, we did forget to say that Kelly's business is called Forever Valentine Beauty. Beauty so yes. they got the Forever Valentine yeah. on lock, okay? <laughs> yeah. So you got yeah. the tattoo, just, the beauty, and makeup, and training. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, we're just gonna keep going. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah so for anyone that doesn't know, the Bach building is an amazing old school in South Philadelphia that instead of tearing it down, they turned it into essentially a we work right? right it was a historic building so they yeah. couldn't tear it down so it was an eyesore for a long time and people didn't know what to do with it and a yep. girl named Lindsay, she's awesome she came in and, and bought it yep. and turned it into like a maker space there's all kinds mm-hmm. of artists and it's it's really cool that's really cool wow that's awesome. And so basically you guys are going to take it over. Yeah. Yes. That's what we're working on. We have yes. a whole wing on the fifth floor. The fifth floor and, is ours. Don't come near it. <laughs> and um, we, we're all in old classrooms that we've turned into our own spaces. That's and awesome. I would encourage anybody to go online and see these two spaces. They've really transformed these classrooms into something really aesthetically beautiful and very fitting to the businesses that you guys run. So, mm-hmm. yeah. shout out. Shout yeah. out to the design is it, is it, um Is it like uh, a little random to like let the listeners like tell them what microblading is or is it that big and that popular that everybody knows what it is? I think it's that big that everyone knows what it is. It's a form of permanent cosmetics. So um, when people think of that, they usually think of their grandmom's tattooed eyebrows. (laughs) That's not what we're doing. (laughs) That's not what we're doing. Um, But it is a more evolved, modern twist on that. It's it's, um, depositing it with a blade instead of a machine. Right. And it's huge. It's just blowing I mean, up it, everywhere. It allows you to actually make like it where it looks like actual like hair yeah. follicles, right? Yeah. It's pretty amazing. And being in America, we it came on here a little further down the road. It's been going on in Russia and Asian countries forever. It just it didn't hit America until like five years ago. So And it hit it yeah. hard. It hit it hard. It's mm-hmm. huge. Yeah. Now, can you do microblading on more than eyebrows? Because I'm in the in the men's world. I'm thinking, what about guys that are balding or receding hairlines? We have actually um, an artist who flies in from LA every month 
and stays for a few weeks at a time. Um, she goes back and forth. She's bi-coastal. Um, she, it's not microblading, but she does scalp pigmentation. So we actually had three clients in just today getting their hairline tattooed men. Right. Um, so basically, it's depositing dots over and over again. It takes about four sessions for full saturation, wow. um, but it gives the illusion that you have hair growing back in. So one of her clients had this nasty comb over, and he was really embarrassed by it because it's embarrassing. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, Someone is not embarrassed by it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone's not. But um, she started with him, and by his third session, he actually buzzed his whole head. What? And the comb over was gone, and now it looks like he has hair regrowth. So it essentially looks like you've shaved your head down, but your hair is growing back. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice. That is yeah. cool. I'm actually getting it done to my hairline because just from having kids, I lost a little bit of my hairline, yeah. all the hormones, like after yep. my second child, and I'm going to have her fill in mine. So when I pull my hair back, oh. it looks really full all the time. No, no one would notice but me. <laughs> yep. but, but still. But it's funny, Kelly, you say that because I also do do women's hair, and every single woman that has a child is like, Josh, is my hairline going to break off? They really, I'm like, yeah. Mine did. I mean, I, I've, I've not, not seen them not break off or come back like baby hairs. Oh, so it, you have little great. wild hair, like little chicken yeah. hairs coming up everywhere. Um, my first child, it didn't happen with. My second child, I didn't notice it. It's not something I noticed happening. I pulled my hair back one day. I was doing my makeup in the mirror and I looked and I was like, where's, where's my hairline? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where, where'd it go? And then I looked closer and I had all these little spiky hairs everywhere yep. and it never fully came back. So I'm actually going to have her do mine. So it'll just fill in like whatever potential gaps you see, making it look like there's more fullness. Yeah. It makes it look dense for anyone who's not looking yet. Kelly does have really long hair, like down past her shoulders. Yeah. So, so it would just fill in. I can't, yeah. I can't see it now. Yeah. Just, it just yeah. fills in like fine areas. So it'll, it'll make it look more dense that like there's something behind that hair. Very so cool. so you guys are specializing in the eyebrow segment, but there is a woman that for anyone that's interested that mm -hmm. can help out men with receding hairlines or balding spots. Yes. Hair, correct? Yes. 100 percent. What so, other forms of cosmetic tattoo do you guys do at Forever Valentine Beauty? We do um, eyelash enhancement, which is uh, just a line in your in your eyelashes to make it look like it's being framed better. Um, we do lip blush, which is coloring your lips. Um, we do freckles because everyone wants freckles right now. And it's really? funny because women who have freckles are like, I've been trying my whole life to get rid of these and cover them up, <laughs> and now people are paying for them. Um, but we do freckle tattoos. We do obviously we specialize in eyebrows. We do areola reconstruction for cancer survivors or anyone who's had anything happen, any surgeries that they've had their areolas or nipples removed. And we do scalp pigmentation. And is this all permanent? Uh, microblading is semi-permanent. Um, to be really fast, um, the molecule breakdown of permanent cosmetics ink is different than tattoo ink. So the molecule is a bigger molecule than tattoo ink. So it's going to go out of the skin yep. faster than a tattoo. I should understand that. It's kind of like hair color. Yeah. Right? It's a lot, a lot right. of the same thing. Permanent, yeah. demi-permanent. Well, guys, we've just scratched the surface. We're going to talk to Kelly and Pat a lot more when we get back.